Shalom. Hi. I uh, I am thinking very much about what happened in the Catholic uh, this retreat I was in. I was on on my own as always, and uh, it seem I don't know. Uh, of course, I don't know what the nuns are thinking about it, and uh, I was not talking to them about uh, the sight I got. It was the volunteers that was talking to the nuns about uh, me uh, that I had seen this uh, sight and um, they were in the prayer room together with me but not uh, sitting around me I was so almost always on my own sitting and uh, I sit on the first row on the, the first to the door if I have to go to the bathroom like that I'm thinking uh, so I sit there and they didn't see my face in that moment but uh, it had happened uh, before uh, when I was homeless in United States uh, but I got some money uh, because I was praying, I was preaching in some of the the, the churches in United States, and uh, so I got some of the, this money people gave to the church, and. Um, and they say to me in that time, and it must be have been going stronger now because it's 20 years since that time when they say that my eyes was red uh, when I have uh, been into the spirit. I don't know why it's going red because I am not looking around I close my eyes and go in in the spirit so why do they go red of that it's so much strong in my seeing when it is seeing in in the spirit way and not when I look with my eyes around me and with no spirit. Uh, so it's harder for the eyes to see the, the spirit world than, than my eyes. So it seems like it is. I don't really know. But People say I have red eyes when I am in the spirit. And uh, you can uh, watch of uh, these uh, videos uh, I did for some years ago that I, I say I don't need my glasses on. I. I had the glasses on in my videos because I thought I look better to have these glasses on. But then when I get into the spirit, I was, I couldn't have the, those eyeglasses on me because I don't, didn't need to, to look at the world. So I, I was in, in the spirit world and there is no eyeglasses. No, no spirits in, the, in, the, in heaven need to use eyeglasses. 
and that's why I don't need that when I enter into a spirit world. And uh, but it seems like uh, the eyes be full of blood when doing this, and um, I don't know what happened this time. Uh, the volunteers, uh, those that uh, liked me and and was talking to me the whole time, and uh, they were not frightened about frightened of me, like in other places, like uh, the church members. Uh, those volunteers, they were working for the nun, digging in the soil, plant flowers. And they talked to me, and they were interested of what I was saying, and they learned from me. And uh, so they told the nuns about that when I turn turned to these volunteers and and told them that I have seen, a, I saw a vision. Uh, then they say that to me that it, it seems like that because you, you are shining, they say to me. So uh, something was it that they saw in me immediately after the the service the prayer was ended and uh, i don't know what it uh, the the uh, they have a, a bishop uh, i don't know what it's called but uh, from the monks uh, monks area place was it one uh, monk that one leader that was there that hold the service and he looked so very much into my face so uh, he maybe saw something i can't see myself so i don't know how i look like but uh, the volunteer say without i have asked them but uh, they say that your your face is shining, they say. Um, but I, um, but I don't think um, that uh, no one, no one believe in this. And uh, if I had been a nun and say that, that's maybe. <laughs> make the whole deal but as me as a, a not catholic person they maybe hide it and not uh, not do anything about it and um, and i i believe that i am on earth uh, in this generation to test people, to see how close they are to God. Uh, that's why I never get any friends. I uh, I had friends uh, in uh, this uh, Catholic place. They were not Catholics, but they believe in God, and. Uh, so they were open for it and um, and, and um, i i have forget what i should say because you know someone is start to enter in now in this recording but far away it, uh, it looked like a, a monk from the old time with brown clothes on him. And he had this 
hairstyle that you can see in um, Robin Hood movies, for example. I think he his name is Tuck. I think that the one that is with Robin Hood. He look like him, but of course it's not the the cartoon that is here. But he looked like that. Um, I don't know what he's doing because he look look into the floor, into my floor. I don't know. It's like he looking for something on the floor. So I say, I say in my mind, hello, I'm here to see if he or to look at me or if I, he still is looking in the floor. What does it mean that you look in the floor? Yeah. He say that he looking for something that he, he want to find it. So uh, yes, when he say this, it's, it's symbolic things he's saying. So what he looking at is our planet. That's uh, why he's act and saying what he do. He's, um, Uh, he say uh, that he find in me, but he wanted to find more on this planet today. Uh, people that live here in this planet, uh, do he want to find? And I will ask him in my mind if if he had find more than me on earth. I would be very dry in my mouth when they coming forward also. Um, I, 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 He talking like that. It uh, he make me do this because because he wanted us to understand that it's like a confusing sound that I sh uh, he say now he he scratch his head and he say this to me that I thought I should find many but they are not many he is very surprised he have not been in uh, in this uh, to be close to our planet he have done other things in heaven but now he he wanted to look around and, and see what he find here on this planet. And I know I know I know it now. It's scary because there is so very few people that believe that God exists today. And People believe in God, but believe in God in the old time. And many, many, many believe that Jesus was God. And then he is not here. He's empty. And they waiting for him to come down. Jesus as a Christ, as the Christ and Messiah and and between there, there is an empty gap. 
uh, is it so many that believe that that nothing happened today uh, it, it's happened when they see Jesus Christ coming down from the sky like he he was going going uh, up to heaven in the same way he's coming down in the same way people believe that uh, but uh, but what he is saying is symbolic things and uh, if you need to do it you need to study more than just when he say it uh, that you need to to study what was going on before this event started that's you need to check out and not take just when he say I will come back in the same way that I I went up you must understand why he's saying this thing not only a simple simple answer because it's it's when he's talking he, he was talking in his spirit and when the spirit is talking is very much uh, symbolic and not what we can see and hear yeah. in this world it's a spirit thing and i i see i see some of you that listen at this podcast that you start to understand now that you need to to look at it to understand it in a spirit way and not what you see and hear here on in on this planet uh, the technology is not the same thing in the spirit way they don't have technology that have with metallic things to do for example or building something noah he was building the ark here on earth and not in the spirit way and uh, uh, the target is to stay here on earth by building an ark and um, you need to to understand the difference between the spirit talking and the the physical talking so uh, it, it this monk uh, that's what he want to tell us that he he looking for people that believe in real belief not in w- what believing in the old time but also today that things happen for if, because then you are not prepare for the winter you're not prepared to see what is coming from heaven to you you're not prepared and i have talked about it and the spirit have talking about to be prepared that have with these things to do also i'm really prepared after that i saw uh, a, a bride coming down i didn't see her face and even if i saw her face i maybe should not think it was virgin mary so i can't say it's virgin mary 
but it was like a, br a bride with her white clothes. But I didn't see a body in it. I saw this uh, and not a face. And it, it can have, I say it only, I don't brag about it, but it can be the possible that the dress was for me to uh, bring on me the dress because it was not a woman inside the dress. I couldn't see a body in the dress. It was only a bride dress. So I don't know what it, what it was more than a bride. Um, but uh, I, I say I don't think it was to me for me, because I don't want to uh, be sounded like I'm a proud person. So it's, it is for each of you to think about it and maybe ask God to give you a hint about it. It maybe was a, a bride dress for me to put on me. And under that broad dress was it uh, Archangel Michael with a sword ready to really fight now for the good. And, um, and then on the right side was it those small cherub, those small look like babies but but they are not babies they are grown up but they look like that it's a spirit thing so i don't know what will come i don't know the future you know i have said that to you and it still is the same thing i i I have taken away that I know things because I don't know things. It's only heaven that know the future. But we, uh, we here on earth, we are really dumb. We don't know anything. We can, the next second, fall down dead. We don't know anything. We, but I hope it's for the good that will happen now. So thank you for, for listening and we wait. We have to wait and not run away for something that doesn't exist. We need to wait for, for God and the, those in the afterlife to tell us what will be going on. But uh, uh, why I recording this episode was to tell you that it have affected me very much. Even if I have this spirit coming to us, and talking to me here in my home. Is it not the same to, to see them coming into other places? But uh, you heard from the other, before I, I left to go to the retreat, they, I asked uh, the spirits if they could come with me and they say they should come with me to to the, this Catholic place. And they did. They come. Uh, so I thank them for to do it. And thank you for 
listen to. I, it's very sad that uh, that the, the most uh, listened episode on is now uh, the hell in the hospital. I I think it's uh, very sad that people only want to listen at negative things, and I I think I. I wrote the title because I wanted those people that listen only on negative things, that they should listen at this episode, because I think I had something to tell them. Uh, it is not about hell. I tricked them to, to listen at this, that episode uh, and hear good things but it, it is very sad that I need to to put a title that sounds negative for people to listen so thank you for for listen to this episode, I am not going to place evil things in the title. Thank you.